I'm going to a wedding in the sky, a happy, happy wedding in the sky. I know that soon my chariot will come, I then will say goodbye. I'm waiting with my wedding garments on, I have an invitation from the king. And when he calls, I know I shall go where the angels sing. There's going to be a big wedding in the sky, in the chapel of the king. There's going to be a big gathering by and by, the chapel bells will ring. I'm gonna be The wedding in the sky, in the temple of the king. There'll be a grand reception in the sky, a wonderful reception in the sky. Twill be the marriage supper of the land, away a man on high.
his goodness to me. He's been so good to me, I could never tell it all or never praise him enough. And I desire your prayers that you'd pray for me that I'd be that Christian and lift Jesus up and witness for him that he'd have me be. And I have a lost boy I'd like for all of you to help me pray for. The story of Jesus will never glow A lamp to our feet on life's way The love of the Father he died to unfold He rose and is living today Keep telling the wonderful story of love don't falter, but work with a smile. In heaven, our home, where no sorrow can come, from labor we'll rest after a while. When billows of sorrow sweep over your soul, and cares of this life press you down, Keep looking to Jesus and let him control. Look from your cross to the bright crown. Keep telling the wonderful story of love. Don't falter but work with a smile. In heaven our home where no sorrow can come. From labor we'll rest after a while. The saved of all ages will sing a new song In heaven some wonderful day Keep praying and working, it will not be long Till Jesus shall call us away Keep telling the wonderful story of love Don't falter but work with a smile in heaven our home where no sorrow can come from labor we'll rest after a while oh how sweet the name of Yeah. 
rings are over my sins are over by Jesus blood cleansed within and without oh praise in the name he lifted me out he lifted me out of the deep Jesus' blood cleansed within and without. Oh, praise his dear name. He lifted me out. He lifted me out of the deep mighty clay. He set on my feet in the straight narrow really been a blessing to me and the Lord saved me in, the, in 1963 and I is that the year the camp yeah, started yeah. and I just thank God for what he's done for me during the camp he spoke to me about music several years ago during the camp meeting and he's just worked things out no I guess you don't know it but even the organ over here came through the camp meeting and I just thank God he's been so good to me he's done so many wonderful and great things for me and I'm just expecting him to do many, many more great things. And I just bless his holy name this morning. He's wonderful, and he's great, and I love him with all of my heart. The blood that Jesus shed for me Way back on Calvary, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never lose its power. It soothes my doubt and it calms. All my fears And it dries all my tears The blood that gives me strength From day to day It will never lose its power
This man is dead as far as the natural eye is concerned. He had nothing. I was dead in trespasses and sins. That night near Hickory, North Carolina, when the very Son of God came to me in the form of the Holy Ghost and said, Son, it's time to leave uh, where you're at. I've got better things for you. And salvation has been brought down. I thank God came to where I was. And glory be to God, that boundless love of God has been flowing through me ever since then. But he wants to keep appearing to me and help me over these rough places. Yeah. Get me ready for these trying hours. And that's what he wants to do for you. And he'll try to get up close to your heart and forgive your sin and cleanse your iniquity. And let you sing some of those blessed old song, Rock of Ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. And then strike on down. And said, be a sin of double cure. Save from wrath and make what you mean, make me cure. Means you forgive your sin right now and cleanse you that very moment, right there. Not tomorrow, not when you practice it. And I have communion and what fellowship we've had. But oh, thank God, the sweetest hey, fellowship hey, you can hey, ever hey, have hey, is when hey, everybody's hey, closed and you can't reach out hey, and get the hand of that dear one. Hey, and there's nobody at home in the midnight hours. And the crickets are howling on the outside. And the devil's slipping up all around you and saying, Boy, you struck out. There's no use to try. Nobody cares. And all of a sudden, go yes, to the sir, sir. the Holy yes, Ghost moves in, pulls the sheet yes, over your head. Yes, and you have a sweet yes, with him yes, as he puts you in his yes, arms yes, and tells you how wonderful yes, it is yes, that you're a child of God. That's the communion that he's to have with the Holy Ghost. He walks with me and he talks with me. And it tells me I'm his own. All the joy he shares with Paris there, none other's ever known. He speaks in this voice so sweet that the birds hush to singing. Have you ever had communion with the Holy Ghost when the lights are out and the light of divine love breaks in your soul and the Holy Ghost puts a song in you? That's the communion I'm talking about. Oh, blessed Holy Ghost, how sweet it is. I'm glad that circumstances can't stop it. That jails can't push you out. But in the midnight hour, he's there. And he'll walk with you through the valleys and the shadows. And he's always there to commune with you and curse you to you and speak with you and bring you joy in the midnight. I'm glad that I learned to know that. Because you're saved not by works of holding out faithful or not sinning. You're saved through Jesus Christ. You don't go to heaven or hell by talking tongues or not talking tongues. You go to heaven through Jesus Christ. And that's the only way you go. You just face the truth tonight. And the truth will make you free. God's opened the way. My friends, where I want you to know, everybody, young uns and old uns, rich and poor, ignorant and talented, everybody's been saved by the grace of God and added to God's church. He's indwelled with the Holy Ghost of God. And if you let the Holy Ghost of God have full sway, you, you're going to tell it. I have no love. I tell you, we need love in this hour that we live. We need love for our Christian brethren. Amen. I tell you, we'll puff up and yeah. get mad at one another. Then hey. we can worship God. That don't work. I, I tell you, hey. have to be in right relationship <laughs> with your neighbor to worship right. God. And I tell you, many people come in and sing, Oh, how I love Jesus, and mad at their neighbor. I tell you, you can't worship God like that. You need to love each other, and then we need to have a love for lost people. Doing for hell. I tell you, we need to tell them the story of what the Lord has done for us. Paul said, I've been crucified with Christ, nevertheless, even though I've been crucified, he said, I'm alive. He said, I'm not talking about my final resurrection from my body. I've been crucified with Christ by the Spirit. And he said, even though I'm still living in this old tabernacle of clay, I've been crucified, nevertheless, I'm alive with and through Christ Jesus. The devil tried to make me doubt, say, oh, it's not this and not that, but thank God I'm glad it's still real in spite of the devil. Because he's done more for me than anybody else could do. My father and mother done all they could. I appreciate them from the deep of my heart. And as the brother said, and I done wrong, my daddy's warm up my seat of my pants. I mean, he didn't fail to whip either. But we, today, we, they don't, they're little, little Susie and little Johnny's too good. We can't spank them and so on. Bless God, we better get them spanked. We better get them up in the right way. God have them to go. Because one day they're going to get out and they're going to trump your heart. Bless God, I'll tell you, we need to serve the Lord. Someone said they trump your feet when they're little and tiny. And that's right, but when they get older, they'll trump on your heart. He said, make two silver trumpets. 
Boys, I got to studying that one day, and I found out what he's, how he was telling him to do, and I like to bless my heart to death. I found out that one of them old them trumpets was the Old Testament. The other was the New. He said, lift thy voice like a trumpet in this walk of life. Listen, fellas, if you ever heard a trumpet sound, oh, listen what a note a trumpet sounds to a man's ear. When he came the first time, he came in flesh. Last time he went into Jerusalem, he rode a little stiff-backed donkey, which is a symbol of peace. But when he comes back, look what the Word of God says. Looking for the blessed hope. Bless God, that's my hope tonight. Amen. And the glorious appearing. I want to tell you, bless God, when he splits the skies to come back to this earth, he'll not be on a stiff back donkey. He'll be on a white radiant stallion with all the saints of God, thank God, with his declaring glory. Honey, when you cross that Jordan, that Jordan River, ain't it where you find it in the Bible to signify your relationship with Jesus on the grounds of death and resurrection, hallelujah. And God said in Romans 8, if the same spirit be in you that weighs him from the dead to quicken your mortal body. I'm glad to be blessed any time God wants to get it there. Yes, Lord, I didn't know I'd get this. But hey, man, thanks, thanks. Hallelujah. Go to Romans, tell me when you get it. Oh, my God. He wanted to get tired that he might worship his God. He wanted to get tired of the living God was. I tell you, we need to come to that meeting. Not to be seen or to be heard. Not to see what's going to go on. But we need to let our heart and our flesh be consumed with the desire to worship God. I tell you one time I was an old drunk. Yeah. I tell you, oh, say it for a devil tail. Yes, sir. And God would see me. I tell you, so love me. He <laughs> saw me love me when I was for you. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell you, he me. Yeah. And I praise and honor his house yeah. yeah. for the great love of God. Amen. 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 I tell you, he loved us all right. when we were one loving. Yeah. And I tell you, that's not the half of it. Uh, he still loves us when we repel. Well, I'll even here tonight. You'd be true. Uh, repel against the call of God. Uh, Paul said in Romans 8, 35, uh, Well, who shall separate us from the love of God? Uh, he said, I'll persuade thee to hide your death. Uh, I tell you, your death, your angels, your principalities, uh, your things present, your things past, uh, your things to come can separate us uh, from the love of God. Uh, One day when I didn't have nothing else, just had him, just had the Lord in the book. I mean, that's all I had in the Holy Ghost. Of course, I got that when I got saved. He got me before I got saved. But I got all that good stuff, you know. And boy, I tell you right now, I mean, I'm in better shape then than I am now. When I didn't have nothing but God. Just had God in the Bible and God in the Holy Ghost and God in the blood and God in Jesus. I mean, I had them all. And I mean, I got there about half starved to death. But I tell you right now, I show sure feasting on the good things of God. You need that in these days uh, in which you're facing. Uh, and Paul said, philosophy uh, will never do. It's too great for you. There's too much sin and pride in the city of Corinth. Uh, and he said, friend, you'll have to rely on uh, it. will take God's power. And dear friend, if anything today uh, is ever accomplished, uh, it'll be by the power. And the anointing uh, of God Almighty. Uh, 